Holly back. And it got dark outside. This is how long I've been filming these. Whoa. A whole day of Iron Man pedal filming. Um, I actually recorded this one four hours ago. Time travel, huh? Why am I still here? Hmm, weird. Because for some reason I forgot to hit record on my computer and there was no sound. Four cam ca cameras. Four cameras. Four cameras running and no sound. And I found out later. So, crap. We're doing it again. So, we're going straight into it. Quenzel M3. Beautiful guitar. Mahogany body, so it's got some chunk. But, as you can see right here, it's got a beautiful um, flame maple neck and fretboard. Really beautiful guitar. Right here, we got Schuller top locking M6 minis. I love those. Uh, pickups by Bob Gabriel. Four Seasons pickups. Amazing pickups with a very unique single call clean sound. Um, and uh, that's going, well, let's listen to the single call sound. <laughs> I think the maple in combination with this is crazy. So what are you hearing? You're hearing the Custom Shop 50 by Carl Martin going into a 212 cab with vintage 30s being mics with the beautiful amp clamp that you see right there somewhere in the corner. Uh, Sennheiser E609. And uh, in front of that is the little blaster, of course, which is what we're looking at. Going through the Quattro from the Iron Man series from Joyo for some analog style delay. So, and uh, let's just go maybe in the front right here. Neck pickup and do some open G. that as a very dense distortion with quite a bit of gain but transparent and that's rare <laughs> Obviously, in the bridge, we're talking. Cool, static D. What the crap was that? That string was gone. Um, let's record a quick loop and fiddle with the knobs. Thank you. 
that presence uh, knob. Pre a uh, prez could be a present. Might be a present because it's kind of cool. That present knob, let's call it that. Um, it uh, it seems to boost the mids just a little bit, exactly where we need it for lead sounds. So let's switch back and forth between that. <laughs> So here we might have a good setting for a killer rock sound. situations as well but it's a rock killer here's me again the bells I, I hear the bells in my head can you hear the bells I can hear the bells the Joyo Iron Man series little blaster Pretty, really, really cool pedal. It's tiny. Doesn't fit in my ear, but it's tiny. Power input right here, which can be a little bit of a problem when you have angled plugs. You have to work around that. Comes with Velcro and also a rubber adhesive, which is great. Has the knob guard. And I really, I thought, well, do we really need the knob guard? But um, uh, I'm using one of these pedals now on my board. And when I open up my pedal case, some of the pedals are you know, there's all of a sudden no volume or they're, they've, they've been changed. With this, never. They don't change. Cause it's protected with the knob guard. Knob guard, ass guard, knob guard. Hmm. So, this pedal beautifully empties out your low end. Um, it, it takes out just enough of the low end frequencies to make your guitar very powerful and rocking um, in, uh, in a beauty in, in the band context, you the bass player together now we're freaking talking, and um, it rocks. It even has screaming lead sounds. Uh, if I wanted like you know Van Halen -y stuff and kind of like the modded Marshall screamy tone, this is rock. This is just rock and roll and fun and screamy and. Responsive, even for metal -y tones with the right guitar. Metal! Beautiful pedal. Um, highly, 
highly recommended. Very versatile for many places, very useful in, in, a, in, a, in a context, whether it's recording or band. Absolute nine out of 10, why? Why not 10 out of 10? Well, red's not my color, how about that? Frickin' nine out of 10, little blaster. I don't actually give great, I'm, I'm just, I just made this shit up. Way to go, Joyo. Got a winner. I'm out. Hey.